This is where I keep all my shoes, my shoe room. The list goes on and on of how much I love shoes. The smell of a brand new shoe is nothing like it. My all time favorite shoe ever created, the Kings, Virgil, the off-white Jordan ones. Sneakerheads, y'all understand. If I'm in Miami, this is a Miami kick. You know, it just got everything going. Um, it's a well put together shoe. OG bread one. I had a memory of just standing in line and, uh, you know, this is my first time I'm standing in line trying to get a pair of J's and it didn't work out. Um, but now I have a couple pairs, so I'm, I'm very fortunate in that way. I think that, you know, shoes definitely uh, speak volume when it comes to, you know, having that big personality as I do. Not only is this room about shoes, to me, it, it, it represents me as a person. Jet Safety, Jamal Adams, has the swagger to match his play, and he has company. The defensive backs room is loaded and they come with a moniker. A lot of guys in that room, really everybody in that room, man, that, that wants to be great. New Jack City, baby. Should we point live? I tell them that we must be the baddest group in the building. We want to go out there and make this roster as competitive as we can. Jets, oh, three, one, two, three. Our goal is to get to the Super Bowl, so every other goal is secondary. Sand and palm trees are strangers to northern New Jersey, but today they are fitting right in. Two days prior to training camp, the Jets are sending off one of their own, the only way they know how. Best corner in football was number 24, Darrell Rivas. That's he right. retires last week, officially becomes a Jet, and will retire as a Jet. This is a special day, an opportunity to celebrate the career of not only one of the best players in the history of this franchise, but one of the best players to ever play the game, period. We win and we go, oh, and we go win. His dominance at the cornerback position is legendary. Intercepted, it's Darrell Revis. When Darrell was in the field, this is what we will always remember. Darrell following the best receivers the game had to offer so that they could take their rightful place on his island. Darrell, it was one of the greatest joys to watch you play football. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank the organization, um, you know, for this ride. This journey was great. Um, I enjoyed uh, every bit of it. I, I put my heart and soul into, into wearing the green and white. As one of the best to ever play the game sails off into the sunset, the 2018 Jets are aiming to reach their own paradise. In order to get there, the current group of defensive backs must take their game to new heights. Everybody's level is starting to rise. Everybody's competing, moving around faster and faster because they know they got to get prepared for a game coming up here soon. The Jets have invested heavily in their revamped secondary. It's a unit they expect to be one of the team's biggest strengths. We look at the Jets and what they did. Yep. Jamal Adams will smack you, Mike. And now they just got another one in the same conference, the SEC, Marcus May. The pass is intercepted by Morris Claiborne. And the ball pops out. Buster screen. Forces a fumble. The club has reportedly agreed to terms with cornerback Trumaine Johnson. One of the biggest ticket free agents on the market. As a group, confidence is never lacking. And they are ready to put the league on notice this season. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when we walk on the field, we want to show everybody how good we're going to play. Never be disrespectful. Never be unassuming. But that's the mentality you have to have as a professional in, in anything that you do. 
that I'm the best, and you have to prove it. It was definitely a fun room. I mean, we have we have a good time in there, but when those doors close, when the screen is on and coach has a clicker in his hand, it's all business. Everybody got different personalities. Everybody's into different things, but you know, when we're all with each other, it's just one big group. <laughs> Anytime we're on, we're on the practice field, anytime we're at the game, a scrimmage, it doesn't matter. We always want to try to set the tone um, just to have everybody feed off of us. Um, it's not that we're, we're, we're above anybody um, on, on the team. It's just that we want to hold that standard. We want to set that tone. And, and when we can set that tone and set greatness, uh, we're going to have guys that's following us. It didn't take long for Jamal Adams to become one of the team's biggest leaders. Jamal, wait, bro. Uh -huh. Jamal, he's he's thoroughly understanding what we want to accomplish. When he comes on the field, every time he touches the grass, he's trying to be the best player on the football field. As a coach, that's what you ask for. You, it doesn't get any better than that. We're starting to get fans to believe in us. A lot of people, you know, they doubted us last year, you know, saying that we weren't going to win a game. Uh, me coming in as the first round pick, I understood what was at stake. I understood the pressure that I, that I had on my back. But at the end of the day, I always say this, man, no pressure, no diamonds. You're going to rise up to the occasion. You're going to attack the, you know, the downfalls and, and you're going to make them positive. The energy is through the roof right now. We're starting to get, get that energy back in, in Jets Nation and, and everybody's starting to you know, understand that we have a chance. And that's, that's all that matters. As long as you have a chance, um, you know, there's no telling what you can do with it. Jamal's personality is infectious and his style undisputed. This is a jacket that is not too loud to me and it's very classy. It's just right, should I say. And, you know, you can wear it in the summer, you can wear it in the winter, but you can do so much with this jacket. Um, and it just it speaks volumes of my personality um, because it's, it's not too loud. It's classy um, and, you know, it gets the job done. So I would say this is definitely my favorite piece in this closet. You know, the guys know they know who's 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 on top when it comes to the fashion and, and who, who dresses the best. Mayday, man, he definitely has some swag with him. Man, Claiborne, I, to be honest, I don't even think he has clothes. The only thing I've seen him in is Jets uh, attire and, and a nice little suit on game day. He's smooth on game day for sure. You know, his swagger off the field, uh, he's kind of fading. Uh, my man always tells me, he says, man, look, I got a lot of kids. I'm not worried about the fashion off the field. The heat wave in Florham Park hasn't stopped the fans from getting an up-close look at this year's squad. Jamal Adams is a fan favorite after practice. All right, Charlie Crew. All right, all right. Yeah, it's not part. You're, you're keeping me right. I like that. I like that. How you doing? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You want me to sign this jersey? Yeah, let, me, let me sign it for you. I got you. I got you. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Huh. Picture time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This for you, man. Oh, All right, baby. All right, now. All right, baby. Okay. Morris Claiborne is a fan favorite in his own right. He is the father of four children, including one-year-old twin girls. You got Michaela, you have Malil, and I have an eight-year-old boy. His name is Morris. And I have a four-year-old daughter, her name is Madison, and I have one on the way. They may be the smallest fans at practice, but they are Mo's biggest supporters during the dog days of training camp. Seeing them every day and being out here at practice, you know, it, it makes it all worth it for me. It's very important to make sure we come out and support Dad. Like, we're the only family we have here, 
So just coming out here every day or every other day, you know, for a couple of hours is very important to us so we can spend at least more time after practice with him. Like Adams, Claiborne is a former number six pick from LSU. Entering his seventh season, Mo provides a veteran presence with a young second. And it's intercepted by Mo Claiborne. Being here, you know, like I keep saying, it's a perfect opportunity, you know, to, to help a franchise go somewhere that it hasn't been in a long time. And, you know, like I said, I feel like we're putting all those pieces together and um, they're gelling. And, and before you know it, you know, um, I feel like we're going to definitely be making a run for those playoffs. After two weeks of practice, the training wheels are about to come off for the 2018 Jets. The preseason opener against the Falcons is the first of four dress rehearsals. It's a 90-man casting call, with the spotlight on the three quarterbacks competing to be the week one starter. Todd Bowles says all three quarterbacks will play. We anticipate seeing them in the order they're on the depth chart. Josh McCown, Teddy Bridgewater, and then the rookie, Darnold. It's time for live football, Jets, Falcons. After one series from last year's MVP, Josh McCown, the attention shifts to Teddy Bridgewater. Bridgewater basically missed two seasons. Bridgewater throws a strike by Crowell. Crowell's got an angle. Crowell busting it to the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Welcome back, man. No doubt. Hey. Yeah. That was sweet. It was good. Yeah. You drifted. Yeah. Got yeah. the ball. They, they, yeah, they yeah, hit it and they yeah, went. Yeah, they yeah, dropped yeah. it. Yeah. That was beautiful. The NFL debut for Sam Darnold, the number three overall pick in the 2018 draft, the highest drafted QB by the Jets since Joe Namath. Complete team effort sets the tone with the season right around the corner. We can get better at some things as a team at every position and we'll watch the film and grade it. But overall, you know, we'll just keep our head down and keep grinding. Our group has to play at a high level. We understand that in the NFL when the quarterback plays well, you give your, your, your team a chance to win. And so uh, to watch, you know, watch Teddy step on and especially you know, after his long road back and everything he's gone through to step out there and, and, and take us right down the field and get a score. I mean, that's just, they, they gave me chills. It was awesome. And uh, and then for Sam, you know, the two-minute drill to, to take us down there and throw a touchdown, you know, had some penalties during the drill and just overcame adversity and kept fighting. That, that, those were cool moments. So um, it was good, good showing. I felt great, man. It was an awesome feeling. Uh, I was at peace out there. Um, and um, I was just so excited. I'm glad to be out there with the guys. Uh, you can look in those guys' eyes and feed off those guys' energy, and uh, that's what makes this team so special. I was a little nervous going out there, but more just I think more just excited to, to finally you know be able to play an NFL game, even though it is preseason, to just be able to play an NFL game and have fun with the, the guys that we've been working so hard with. Coming up next time, on one jet strong. It's competition. It's man versus man, player versus player. Everybody has a hat. Everybody has shoulder pads. We're not going to slow down. Let's have fun competing against somebody else today. 
I've been on that side of the field before. I'm proud as hell to be in green and white, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Just go three, one, two, three, yeah.